scan in some of these images before class is over. And uh, yeah, kind of get a build up of the whole process. We're here in Dundalk City Centre, County Loud, Ireland, where a group of teenagers are spray painting uh, a mural that they've been doing for the last four weeks in a creative art workshop. Uh, the name of the project is called Home From Home. So the teens have been creatively expressing what home means to them over a period of four weekends. Uh, down in Creative Spark, and we have an Amorous and Art Studio with resident uh, street artist Barry Finnegan, who is around here somewhere giving guidance. Uh, and on one of the Saturdays, we went to Belfast to look at contemporary street art and to get an idea. So basically, we're coming to the end of it now, and as you can see, there are different. Uh, the mural is divided up into different sections from their home countries and just other things that they like to express. This is Barry Finnegan, the resident street artist and uh, artist of Creative Spark, who basically did all the hard work. I was just kind of hanging around and <laughs> just showed up at the end of the project. So uh, Barry coordinated and put together all of the, uh, the four workshops, which were in Creative Spark and we have them more, and then they had one in uh, Belfast. So Barry, over to you. So, yes, <laughs> this is a culmination of all our hard work. Did you uh, really think it would look this fast? No, actually, uh, well, look, sorry, yes, <laughs> yes. True uh, question. No, uh, no, there was a good bit of work, and I suppose the start of it was to give everyone an insight into graffiti and its background, or mural art, or whatever you want to call it, and uh, to give them a, show them as much imagery and stuff like that, and it, let it seep into their heads, mm -hmm. brought them to Belfast as well on the street art tour, and that gave them a good flavour of what can actually be done with the spray can and stuff like that and then and on the, se on the second workshop you uh, you got them to sketch out some stuff yeah. and then put it together tell yeah. us about that so like last week uh, we had kind of a brainstorming session because basically I didn't want to come and just do like I could come and paint and do the stuff but I wanted it to be from you know you guys you know and uh, so basically everyone was sketching all morning uh, we developed all our ideas and um, under a loose theme you know home from home it's more like home sweet home, really, like, you know? <laughs> yeah, that's a lot of one, But, um, so basically, yeah, so it was everybody's sketches, and what we did was, uh, I scanned them all into the computer, pulled them together in a sort of cut and paste thing on Photoshop, and made it look. And we're here with OC. Okay, I did like a quarter of this, and it was, a, it was very bad at the start, and, yeah. <laughs> and what's the American flag about? Yeah, I was born there. Ah, cool. Uh, which city was that? Chicago. Chicago. What's with the donuts? Um, <laughs> the donut is like the O for my name, and then the dollar sign is ah, yes. uh, S for my name, and then the flagpole. The, the, the I is like the flagpole, so it bring up yes. the American flag. Very cool. Very cool. We are with the very professional footballer, Akamba, soon to be on the Dominics or the Dundalk under 12s. Dundalk under 13s. Under 13s. Keep an eye out, Dundalk. So, Akamba, what did you draw first, actually? What was your art? Um, um, cool. Your backdrop kind of guy, yeah. fill in. <laughs> cool, nice one, Akamba. Good job. Bon dia, todos. Estamos aqui en Dundalk. Irlanda, uh, estou aqui com a minha amiga, Stephanie. se chama? Stephanie. Stephanie. Stephanie, tudo bem? Tudo, obrigada. <laughs> o, o que estamos fazendo hoje? A gente está pintando aqui a parede. Uh -huh. um, eu fiz meu parte porque sou do Brasil. Ah, é qual cidade? É São Paulo. 
São Paulo, beleza. Yeah. Então, atrás do desenho é o Jesus um, do Rio de Janeiro uh -huh. um, e com as cores do Brasil. Ah, beleza. E... Hi, my name is Coco and I'm going to be interviewing Ronke today. So, what is, um, what is the meaning of your piece, my darling? Um, <laughs> so it's like, because um, um, my parents are from Nigeria, so like I decided to like do like home from home, from Nigeria to Ireland. So that's the kind of like theme I was going with. And like that girl there, she's like looking at like her home now. So, yeah. That's amazing. That's really good. Yeah. So, what made you interested in doing this course? Um, well, my parents, well, my mom kind of like showed me like what is like this is about. So then I just decided to do it. We are here with Kat. So, uh, tell us about what you did today, Kat. What's the last? So, my idea is that my two hands touch my heart. And one hand symbolizes Ireland, and one hand symbolizes Russia. I was born in Latvia, but I consider myself Russian. Mm -hmm. So they're both touching my heart. And yes, I was inspired by the 16th apple, where the two hands meet each other. Got a bit of nail polish going on there. Yeah, also, I always have my nails Leonardo done. Leonardo da Vinci would be happy. <laughs> yeah, I always have my nails done, so I thought I'd add a bit of modernism. Cool, yeah. And uh, are you studying art in school or is this something that you'd like to continue? Uh, yes, I love art and I want to study art in college. Oh, brilliant. So, uh, what's the best art college? NCAD. NCAD. We're coming. <laughs> CAO. Get ready. <laughs> okay, cool. Thanks, guys.